Fall officially arrives on Saturday at 9.45 at night, so a little bit later. So we got to start thinking about fall food. Our good friend Heather Johnson uh, joining us this morning, the food hussy here with us. And we're talking about apples because it is apple season. And what are you doing with them? It is, but the thing is, is there's so much more than just desserts that you can yeah. do with apples. So we're actually going to make an apple and Brussels sprout salad. Oh, it's perfect. I love apples in, in uh, salads. And it's yeah. so healthy. And so we've got these Envy apples, which... These Envy apples are the best. They're like a combination between a Braeburn and a Gala. Okay. So they're sweet, but they have this high acidic citric acid content. Nice. Which means I actually diced these apples this morning before I came in. They're like perfect looking. They they are much slower to brown. So yeah. you, they're good for lunches and, and all things thin, like that. And a thin skin too. So even yeah. if you want to take a big old bite out of oh, them. Oh, they're so good. good. Yeah. Excellent. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to make our Brussels sprouts. But what, now, how do you shave Brussels sprouts? So I brought this mandolin. This is okay. the tool of the century. You just have to be careful with it. But it's yeah. so simple. All you do is there's the blade on there, and you just go like this. Oh, look at that. And That's it great. shaves them super thin. And they make attachments on that, too, like for oh, the yeah. or whatnot, too. But know, this thing, then you just plop your, you got Brussels sprouts in here. Nice. So we're going to take some Brussels sprouts. They're so light. And when you, when shave, you shred them, they them like that, need to be cooked. It's like Correct. Oh, it's like a slaw. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly. And so then we've got our apple, which I diced up nice and small, okay. so it's good bite sizes. And then all we're going to do with this is we're just going to mix this together. And I actually made a vinaigrette this morning. Now okay. with this vinaigrette that we've got, you can actually do this. You want to do this at the beginning of the recipe because you're going to put dried cranberries in there, okay. and you want those cranberries to kind of plump up a little bit. Okay. And so then you just pour that on there. Beautiful. And we're going to give that a nice toss. I imagine if you're not a big Brussels sprout fan, you could use the same thing could be with spinach or arugula. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. And I, I urge people to give the Brussels sprouts a try because they may think, oh, I don't like Brussels sprouts. But when they're in this type of slaw, it's like coleslaw. Well, Brussels sprouts back in the day, they were just plain. Now, yeah. you know, if you roast them with balsamic or garlic or whatever so you yummy. do with them, they're fantastic. Yeah. But then the fun part is we're going to top this. So if you want to give me a little bit of that slaw. So now we've got apples in there, we've got these Brussels sprouts, but now the good part. Okay. So we're going to top this with a few more dried cranberries, just for some of that extra flavor. And the ones that are in the vinaigrette, they've had time to kind of plump up. Yeah. You could even heat it up so they really get plump. Marinated a little bit. And then we're going to drop a little parsley on this for a little extra effect. Beautiful. And then the best part is, what's my favorite, is we're going to put goat cheese on top. Oh, that's great. And so yeah. I am a big proponent of goat cheese. I'd probably have more goat cheese than Brussels sprouts if I could. I love goat cheese on salad. And then salads. we've got this great, beautiful salad. It's perfect for fall. Great. And it's so healthy. Like yeah. the goat cheese, you can go light on it. It's even healthier. But mm -hmm. And our vinaigrette was just olive oil, honey, and lemon juice and salt. I'd even like, sometimes I'll take goat cheese and like slice it and like bread it a little bit and a little fried goat cheese. Oh, yeah. Good. Goat Pretty cheese good. balls are the best. Goat cheese balls but are these, fantastic. These Envy apples are great. They're GMO free yeah. and they're super sweet and perfect for lunches. Okay, beautiful. Thank you so much. Good to see you. We are back in two and a half.